Oh, hey, what up, Lao Lao? This is your boy James. We're back with another video. Today, we're at UBC. I will be showing you the places that I used to hang out as a business student here in UBC. Am I right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's go. Oh, I forgot I graduated. <laughs> but you can see here is my UBC card. So this is where I used to live in my first year in university. This building, I know it looks very high class, but this is where, this is a student residence. This is called Totem Park. Yeah, it was good times, it was good times. Mm hmm I used to live here, shoe swap house, right? All right, all right, pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. If you're going to look for student res, and if you're looking at Totem Park, aim for either this one, called Kalahan House or Hamlasam because they are built later and it's so much better than th the other ones, all right? And also a side note, uh, Tristan used to live here. Am I right, Tristan? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. right? good, good times. And Daryl used to live right here. So I used to go like, all right, hmm, I have nothing to do. Boo, go to Daryl's, oh, all right, let's go visit Tristan, all right. And then we'll go visit Tristan's house. Oh, you wanna go, uh, wanna go eat uh, lunch? All right, let's go lunch. Uh, wait, where's the, oh, oh, let's go lunch. Oh, comments block is here, dining room. Oh, nice lunch, man. All right, see, see you tomorrow. All right, Tristan goes here, I go back here, go back here, Totem Park. All right, so this is called the Marine Drive building. This is building four specifically, which is where I lived from my second year all the way till I graduated. And one of my roommates is actually Tristan right here. Yeah, so we lived here for three years. So this is building four, it's the best on the 10th floor. Yep. 1008, 1008, yeah. yeah. If you live in 1008, let me know, brother. All right, but yeah, so it's pretty nice, man. Way better than Totem. And this is where we, we used to eat. This is called the Point. It used to be called the Point Grill. Great, good times, man, good times. All right, so again, this is Marine Drive where I live from second year all the way to my fourth year. And pro tip, pro tip, all right? When you're in your first year, you gotta make sure that you're applying for your housing if you plan to live on campus as early as possible because it's like a lottery, it's like, it's crazy. So you gotta apply really, really soon if you want to live with your friends, if you wanna live with your homies. No, no, what? No. We're doing a UBC tour. So this is Diana. Hey. Uh, can you confirm that all everything I've been sharing is legit and true? What did you say though? Uh, I'm just sharing pro tips about UBC. True. true. Word. This guy knows what's up. Yeah. We're the, we're the coolest guys in UBC, right? Right. <laughs> all right. So here we have the student rec center. Back in the day, you know, the boys and I used to come here all the time, play some ball. We try to get you inside to see what a basketball court looks like. But we used to come here, you know, uh, probably a few times a week. A few times a week, ball is life. All right, so due to COVID, we're not allowed to go in, but we'll show you some clips from back in the day when we used to play basketball. See here, this is the UBC Life Building. But this is where we used to chill, you know, study for school. There are like restaurants, Starbucks, and stuff inside. So because of COVID, we can't go in as well. Um, back in the day, this used to be called the Old Student Union Building. So it used to be called the Old Sub. Back in the day when I used to go to school here, it was an old building. It didn't look like this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So behind me is the, the nest. It's called the nest, right? It's called the nest. This is where you go to um, to eat lunch, to study and stuff, and some uh, hidden uh, information. On the day that marijuana was legalized here in Vancouver, there were many students, not me though, sitting right here on that spot. And when it was 4.20 on the day it was legalized, everybody like took a puff. How do not, you know? How did I know? Uh, I, I just heard. It wasn't me that I wasn't there. I just heard. People were right here, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's a nest.
All right, so this is Blue, Ch Blue Chip Cafe. Yeah, Tristan's gonna get a cookie because they're known for their cookies. But to be honest, it's yes. fine. Yeah, it's, quite, it's also final season right now, so it's kind of quiet in here. All right, so this is the pit. This is the um, like a bar slash club. Uh, on campus. They have this thing called pit night every Wednesday where we'll come and party and you'll know everybody here. So make sure if you come to UBC that you check it out. You will know all your friends here and everyone's gonna have a good time on a, on a Wednesday night, right? So just make sure your Thursday classes are late in the afternoon. Pro tip, pro tip. Right? I had some amazing times here, right? Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so we're at the BD Biodiversity Museum. Can you guess what that is? <laughs> no, it's not a cat. <laughs> it's a whale. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So here, what we have is the engineering E. So this is a, what do you call that, a, la a landmark? Yeah, a landmark in UBC. It's always vandalized. Like I've never done it before though. Like people spray paint it, people pee here and stuff. So engineering E, pro tip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, as you can see here, this is the UBC fountain. Now, as you can see, it's not as pretty as it usually is. So the other thing that you should know about UBC is that there's a lot of construction here. And this area, so as you can see from there, all the way down there, all the way down there, this is called the uh, main mall. So it's basically like the main strip of UBC where there are weeks where if there's a student club and things like that, they will booth and stuff. Yeah, it's like the main strip basically. All right, so this UBC Sauter School of Business is where I went to school for four and a half years here in Vancouver, Canada. It's great times, really set me up for success in life, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Tristan was uh, in Sauter as well, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're business kids. This is where a lot of uh, the learnings happen within the classroom walls. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. So, another pro tip for you. Oh, man, I'm giving away all the secrets today, man. As you can see behind me, Triple O's is basically a fast food restaurant here in Canada and on campus. So, pro tip, every Tuesday, uh, the burgers are cheap. How much? Well, a few dollars or something. It's like cheap burger on Tuesday. So every Tuesday, just make sure your classes are not within like lunch time because there's like a long line. So every Tuesday, Triple O's, super cheap burgers. Don't tell nobody though. You're welcome. All right, special pro tip, special pro tip, all right? The best pizza on campus, it's not Domino's, it's not Pizza Hut, it's actually Mercante. Oh my days, it's wood fire, wood fire oven pizza, hand rolled by UBC students. Very good. And uh, the, one that, the one that I like the most, this one, prosciutto e rugula. It's the tomato, the prosciutto, the rugula, the porcini, and the basil. That's the one you should go for us. All right, mm. very good one. Muy bien. Muy bien. All right, so this area is called the village. Now this is where you will, uh, where we used to come to eat lunch. It's, it's a little bit cheaper than uh, like the nest and stuff. And there's this one spot that I'm gonna take you. It's the best, the best food you can get here on campus. The best. And we'll show you exactly where it is, all right? So don't tell nobody. All right, so the best food you can get on campus is here in the university village. It's right next to the H Mart. Now, pro tip, like this H Mart is fucking expensive, right? Right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. No, no, all right? You're trying to, try, as a student, you're trying to make your money go a long way, all right? Remember the number. Best thing you can get here is this shot right here. What's the best way to eat this? I'm not ready, dude. Do <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so yeah, you know, I mean, everyone has their own style. For me, I, I like to start with like the potatoes, you know, so you can get the nice fresh crunch, and then you move on to eat the main dish and have the, the hummus on the side. Exactly. All right, so the go-to, the combo here is uh, the chicken platter with hummus, potato, all the sauces, garlic on the side. Am I no, right? no. Mm -hmm. For me, it's double, double hummus. Oh, double hummus, right? Mmm, I'm a double but, potato. But all sauce, though, right? right? Yep, all sauce. All, all right, sauce, all sauce. Feast, boys. How's it, boys? Amazing, dude. Brings back memories. Pro tip, man. This is the best tip we can give you. 
this is where it's at. All right, so the clip kind of messed up here. The audio is kind of messed up, so I'm going to voice over. The reason why we're ending the clip here in Thunderbird Stadium is because one of the fondest memories that we have is actually right here in Thunderbird Stadium. So back in 2017, we went to a rave. It was a, an event right here in the Thunderbird Stadium, and the DJ that came to host this rave was Zed. The best of the best said the dj we didn't think too much about it we bought a ticket and we came and it was such a great time it was probably one of the fondest memories that we have here in ubc so here's a pro tip as well make sure that you are going out with your friends you know obviously take care of your studies and stuff but make sure that you're going to events make sure you're going out with your friends and really taking part in having that amazing university experience but anyway this is the end of the video as UBC tour as a ex UBC solder student. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week.